Where my dogs at? Har, 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 har. We got to give a big clap it up for the Detroit Lions. Man, for the first time in 21 seasons in Ford Field, they have now sold out season tickets. And we got to give a big shout out to the man, the myth, the big dog, where it starts. The head coach of the team, Dan Campbell, man, has completely turned this organization around. He's given these people in Detroit the Motor City hope that they need. That first season in 2021, his first season as head coach, they went 3-13. and They backed it up for the 2022 season and went 9-8, and man. Completely turned that program around, that team around, the city's buzzing. And now for the first time, they got season tickets sold out, man. That's good for the city. That's good for the, the uh, comedy economy. We know how Detroit has been over the years. That comedy has been down. But to bring football, to bring joy in the people's life, to give these people some hope, some, some stuff to feel good about themselves for, man, it's a blessing for those guys. Man, I'm happy for the Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions is my sleeper team for this year, man. Dan Campbell has put his post, his energy, his grit, his know-how is unorthodox, but the team follows the personality of the head coach, man, and it starts with him, it ends with him, he is the head of the snake, he is rallying his troops, they guys on the defensive side of the ball, they young, if they can sure up that defense, if they can sure up that secondary, they lost a lot of close games last year, they lost a game to the Ravens last year on a 63 yard field goal miracle kick man so man this team got a lot to live for man and secondly we got to give a big props to jared golf when jared golf left the st louis rams going to detroit y'all and st louis picking up matt stafford sending him to detroit y'all was like sending him to siberia it was over everybody thought his career was over with they thought he was done that first year he started now he went nine and 19 and eight 19 TDs, eight picks. I think he threw for 3,245 yards passing that year. And they went three and 13, and they were saying they need to get him out of here, man. But Dan Canyon put his arm around his shoulders, told him, you are guy, you're a young guy, you got arm talent, you can make a throw from any spot on the field. You can throw the deep post. You can throw the deep route. You can throw the uh, comeback. You can throw time and slants. You can throw all these routes on the field. We just got to get it right in your head and find somebody who believes in you and let the reins go. And Jared Goff back, bounced back last year, y'all. He bounced back after that first year. I think he went 4,400 yards passing. I think 29 TDs, seven picks, y'all. And like a 99 QB rating, man. Man, that man absolutely changed the perspective. Now he got some weapons. Amar, uh, 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 David Montgomery coming over from the Detroit, I mean the uh, Chicago Bears. He's a good running back. I think last year for the Bears, David Montgomery rushed for what? 801, five TDs. I think he averaged about 4.0 yards per carry. Good back. I think he got hurt two years in a row there, but he's a good downhill back. They drafted Jameer Gibbs out of Alabama. He can be your third down back. He can catch passes out the backfield. He got them quick choppy feet, and they got that boy Jamison Williams from Alabama coming off the ACL injury last year. He suspended the first couple games this year, but he's a deep threat. And then you got Mr. Reliable, Amar St. Brown, man. 106 receptions last year, y'all. 1,161 yards, six TDs last year, man. This team is promising. This team is trying to win a division this year, and this is my dark horse team. They won nine games last year. I'm looking for them to at least get 11 this year, man, to win two of those close games that they last year. I believe in the post of this team. I believe in what this team stands for, man. And if you're a Detroit Lions fan, from years to come, you should be happy, you should be proud, and you should be ready to win some football games, finally. Because I think you got the right coach for the first time in years. And the ticket sale shows it. You got the people excited. It's a lot of pressure, y'all. A lot of pressure. But I wanted to make this video, man, for the Detroit Lions fans to let y'all know, man, I'm with y'all. I'm not a Detroit Lions fan, but I like what I'm seeing from y'all. I like the head coach, and we're looking for big things for y'all, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure y'all hit the notification button so you can be notified. Where my dogs at? Catch y'all on the next video.